What's up gamers? Welcome back to the channel for your daily dose of good vibes and video games. And spoiler alert, I absolutely love Until Dawn. I'm only one chapter into it and I can already tell you it's a masterpiece. The writing is fantastic. The acting is a little bit cheesy, but I feel like that's kind of the purpose. Through the voice acting, they're kind of adding a little bit of lightheartedness to what is overall a very dismal, gruesome, and most likely sad story. I already have thoughts going through my head of what I think is going to happen and who might be doing something bad or... But one thing I'm really questioning is who the heck is this psychologist guy and what is his purpose? Is he trying to throw us off? And why is he asking us all about our fears? And it's funny because I'm giving him what I personally fear as the player. Like, not who I think the players in the game fear, like the characters. I'm not going based off of what I think they would fear. I'm going off of what I fear. So I feel like that's going to play really big into the story going forward. I think that is such a cool feature of the game. I can't wait to jump back in. I hope you guys are excited too. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you guys are finding the channel through this playthrough, I got a lot of games planned going forward, a lot more spooky games. And if you guys have any other spooky games that you would recommend, please drop them down below in the comment section. I love horror games. And I hope you guys are enjoying spooky season. As of recording this, let me just check my invisible watch. Halloween's coming up in a couple weeks, so this just seemed like the proper opportunity to play until dawn. So with all that being said, let's get back into it. That's Sam. Sake of my sisters. I need to go Emily. Sam. Matt. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. Chris. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? That feels the same to me. I know that actor. Um, Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. Complex, thoughtful, and loving. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. Yeah, when are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Oh. Ashley. More or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that... No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be, like, a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Nice being back, right? Yeah, confident. 
So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Confidence is key, right? Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? Oh, yeah, I guess. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Now I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not going to bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off Relax. already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. <laughs> yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Hey, you got a point. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? Well, I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Josh is giving me weird, creepy vibes. Very, very weird, creepy vibes. Hmm. Don't like that. Don't like that that's missing. A wall-mounted holder that should contain an axe, but the axe... Is missing. Dun dun dun. Damn, I'm getting pretty low in juice here. I just had to turn off my GPS. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, I was moving it the wrong way. What happens if we go up that ramp? Guess we're not finding out. more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so. I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray. Right on, it's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? No. Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. I love the acting. It's so good. It's so funny. Oh, mother... I hate... This is such a terrible fucking idea. Thank God the psychologist didn't ask me what I was more afraid of. Something versus the dark. Because the dark... 
I probably would have chosen the opposite because I don't want to be in the dark. Oh. Oh, we got a totem. Hey, wait, no, 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 no. No, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, good, we still get to pick it up. Oh, God, I don't know why I panicked. Looks like it's a yellow one. How do we keep that from happening? Lost, what? Oh my God, no, it was brown, it looked yellow. The potential loss of a friend. Indigenous tri- Yeah, okay, so we already read that. No, I don't want to lose anybody. And driven mad. Murderers. Oh no. Oh no, no, I don't want to lose anybody. I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God. Alright, it doesn't look like there's anything else in this room. Fine, it's just a game, it's just a game, it's just a game, it's just a game. Looks like these are just dead ends. Super not creepy family photo. So this is the twins. Family portrait found Washington Lodge. Portrait of the Washington family. Hannah is wearing a distinctive locket. Wonder if that locket will show up somewhere else. Anyway, why not? <laughs> oh, look, there's no one there. Is he wanting me to go back? Why did it just get a close-up of his face like that? I just, I just wanna get out of here. I just wanna get out of here. <laughs> oh. Hi, Chris, very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? On it. I don't want to go back down the hallway. Oh, I think he, I think it was telling me when it gets a close up like that, it's like, move. <laughs> didn't do anything.
God, they nailed, they absolutely nailed the creepiness with the camera angle. This is magnificent. I'm just looking for shiny stuff. Can we turn on a damn light? There is something over here I think I was going to have to interact with. Do I? I'm not going downstairs. I'm not going downstairs. From prom night. Ready for the senior prom. In, oh, in 13. Um, let's look at that. A photo of Hannah, Sam, Mike, and Emily at the high school prom. Okay. Locked. Of course it is. Of course it is. I'm not going to the basement yet. Nope. Where's Josh? One new message. New message. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. Okay. All right, so that was the last place, right? I can, oh my god, the whispering and the creaking. Why can't he, um... Okay. We already determined that there's nothing we can do with the, with the TV, right? Yeah, that's just no power, of course. Awesome. Okay. So, here we are. Um, was there an upstairs? Yes, there is an upstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs first. Basement is last resort. Last resort. We close the damn window. I don't like that. Nothing shiny over there. I did want to check the um, clues. I, I found another clue, right? So there was this. I want to see what this says. Message from a local police officer about a convict being released from jail. It sounds like a warning. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. Looks like there's not much up here so far. Oh, I didn't see that opening there. I almost missed that. Winner! Blood monaster monastery? Is that what that said? Let's see what that said. Film trophy. 
an award for a movie that Josh's dad directed. Best Horror Film 2009. Well, this, there's a lot of things that add up. And the dad happens to be a horror film director. Coincidence? I don't think so. God, this that camera angle is wow. Now let's go in here first. What the hell is that tapping? Is that coming from the other side? Why? Why are the violins getting faster, yo? go in there screw it screw it screw it and wait is that the bathtub that was on the security feed in the in the where the where you took the cart to go why Oh, yes. So here we have a weapon. Get the fuck. Perfect. Oh, should I leave? After. <laughs> We're freezing our buns off out here. Oh, my God. I'm going to cry. Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby hey, Wolverine. Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Those things are feisty, though. Jeez. Sweet home. Sweet is not the word I used. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? <laughs> not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. I'm gonna challenge him. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. Through the telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Right. Yeah. Duh. Sorry, it's been kind of a long day. I overreacted. Nah, man. Don't worry about it. We cool? Yeah, yeah, totally. We're there together now. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Um, I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you 
not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling this homecoming a cow. Em, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Holy Jess, shut your mouth. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No, you're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it. This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for 10 minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike. Why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah, yeah, all right. You wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. It, it's Ooh. right up the trail. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, can we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my God, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my God, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well. Do you? I guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. Mm. We can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Mm. I think Stan's my favorite okay. now. I'm gonna go take a bath. Don't go in that tub. Apparently it's being watched. <sighs> Exiled. Exiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right, and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars, you're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourself. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Got to fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. What the fudge? Wait, I want to explore up here a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. What was over here? What was over here? Anything? Nothing? Okay. Yeah, hold up. We're not done yet. I want to go check out and see what's over here. Oh, it looks like, okay, it looks like it's a dead end. I just wanted to triple check. Okay, we can go back. Just thought maybe they put the path there for a reason. Hot lips. 
photo booth? All right, read my mind. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. Noted. <laughs> this is like also pretty damn funny. It's freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. I'm trying to think of who the person that was getting burned in that like vision thing. Um, I'm trying to think of maybe who that could be. Maybe I could just be prepared for something. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. Yeah, like chill. She's with she's with another guy now. Ah, uh, yeah, she's a handful. But maybe ease up on her. She's still kind of torn up from being dumb. Um, hello. Not my problem, Mike, and not yours either. I have a little empathy. No, I mean, of course not. I'm just saying it's. Like, it's not worth kicking her when she's down. Yeah. Because I'd much rather spend my time getting down with you. You see, you see what I, I did there? I <laughs> did that for you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Jess, chill. But she better stay down is all I'm saying. Well, I don't want to... Maybe that's the way out. I don't want to go there yet. Unless, is this the cabin that they're talking about? The... The romance hut? Another totem. Oh, no. This one looks like it's, uh, like a... Reddish? Was that a clown? that red oh no yeah it was red okay um so that one is danger the threat of a future danger okay so we've gotten all these threats but we haven't actually ran into anything yet i wish i would have paid a little bit more attention to wait 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 hold on i'm gonna go back and watch that um Sometime after the prospector and driven mad murderers. Oh no, it didn't let me see that again. All right, let's see. Boom! Nice one, Mikey. <laughs> Oh, so it looks like it would have been locked. I'm just waiting for something to happen. Yet? You don't look psyched 
yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. Wow. The buildup is so suspenseful. Like, I know that they're kind of building this up right now, but it the suspense is killing me. Oh, it's a t oh, oh, I thought that was a totem. Caution. Police tape. From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. I want to know more. It's all such a blur. I can barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault they ran into the woods. Yeah. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? Ooh. This is really far away from the main house. So they have a main house and then they have a bunch of little side cabins around the place? Oh my god, what the? Did you hear that? Something. Yeah. Damn. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka wax museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. You know what? Fuck it. We're adventurous. We will find another way around. So that so this is where we're gonna go. Okay. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Jess! Fuck! Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey! I'm okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> did you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. I'll jump down, buddy system, yeah. All right, coming after you, just stay put. <gasps> oh, yeah. Look at that. Hey, handsome, wanna help me move this cart thing? You didn't see, you tell me you didn't see that. Help. Help me move it. Help me move it. Okay. <laughs> I imagine us together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> yeah, can we hasten the pace a little bit? Because uh, I'm creeped out. Jesus Christ. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, holy uh, crap. Ugh. Oh my gosh, are, are you okay? Uh, they could have pinned him. Yep. Yep, I'm fine. What the hell is going on? Oh, Nelly. This place is giving me the willies. And not the good kind of willies. Offer you a little comfort and reassurance. <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. Another totem. Looks like a white one. That's that's Jessica. Okay, fortune prophecy of good fortune, good. Okay, good. Something good. What was there something behind him? I missed I missed it if there was. I just heard the noise that didn't sound friendly. My neck is my shoulders are seriously tensing up right now. Yeah. 
need to remember to stay relaxed, okay? Cause I'm gonna be really sore tomorrow. <laughs> okay, well, I just, I'm always like, where do I go first? Where do I wanna go first? Weird place to be smoke cigars. It's recent. Wonder who's out there. Let's take a look at that. Found oh in the mine. Um a stubbed out cigar butt. It looks like it was left recently. There must be someone else up in the mountain. Well, we 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 know that. We know that. They don't know that. Is this some sort of shrine? This is like historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on now. <laughs> Wanna take a look at this? Strange symbols painted onto the wall of the mine. It's not clear what they mean. I don't think I it's know, anything it's like friendly. A shrine or something. A shrine to what? Genius idea. Genius. Jesus. This place is a real f The map showing structural faults in the mine marked up by a mine engineer. It looks like the owners knew there was a risk of collapse. Great. Fixer upper. Anything over there? All right, let's keep going this way. Finally, a little ray of hope. Yeah, I'm just glad to be outside again. Wait a sec. Hold on. So, what? Whoa, what? What? What happens if we go this way? Ah, I'm really glad I ended up checking this way. Looks like there's another totem. That one looks yellow. Oh wait, whoops. Press the wrong button. Yeah, that one looks like it's yellow. yellow but potential loss of a friend and that looks like it was Jessica again ah, I keep pressing the wrong button all right yeah let's get the heck out of here let's go towards the light mm-hmm Cabin. I think we found it. Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? <sighs> Take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for this dumb speech. Ooh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees. Gonna look at the clouds. Gonna look at the cabin. Uh, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Hey, Jess. Mm-hmm. Stay close by, okay? 
What's that? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometime. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. What the hell was that? <sighs> Sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. I feel like I've seen her actress before, too, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Ladies first. This is gonna be so good. Like... They're setting this up to be so, so good. They just keep giving us little breadcrumbs here and there, and I feel like they're something huge. Okay. God damn it, Josh. Couldn't you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. That's how it's gonna be. She's gonna be gone. She's gonna be gone. She's gonna be gone. Yes? <laughs> yes! Oh! Well, you're just gonna leave me with that? Hey! What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy R. Come on. All right, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Oh, no, <laughs> we're back here. Hmm. Well, I thought that was a shiny thing. <laughs> we have to go in the basement. You know what? I'd be asking for assistance with all kinds of things in this damn house. second floor, right? I can't remember where I originally found the bathroom.
a clue. Hannah, Josh, and Beth, you are invited to Sam's Halloween party, October 31st, 2013. Fancy dress obligatory. That's that po that's that same photo that we saw. An invitation for a Halloween party with a creepy picture of a scarecrow on the other side. Yup. Yep, super creepy. Tattoo design. Jo is it Johan D. Smith tattoo artist? March 18, 2013, 9.30 a.m. Hannah had an appointment to get a tattoo. She chose a butterfly design. Must have been her room. Huh. Yeah, let's put that down. Let's put that down. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Dear Hannah, I would be delighted if you would attend my awesome party at 7 p.m. on the 13th, on July 13th, 2013. Uh, Cascade Mike, my house. Gee, Hannah. Crush much? No. Cool setup, though. MM4 about Mike and HW. Mostly sees. Uh oh, this is not going to work. He's like a crazy, reckless hunk of a man. And you're staying at home working on your embroidery, practicing G minor on the piano. Aw. Or do something like really wild run away from home or get a tattoo or something, which explains the tattoo business card. Anything to attract this precious attention, his precious attention. I mean, it's for love, right? So just do it. Okay. A screwed up magazine quiz. It looks like Hannah wasn't happy with the answer she got. It's an indication of her emotional state on the night of the twins' disappearance. Aw. Um. I used to take those quizzes all the time in like Seventeen magazine and stuff when I was younger. I mean, it was so silly. Never meant anything back then. But I thought it was everything. Oh yeah, can we get the hell out of here, please? Thanks. I wonder if there's just like a serial killer running around or if there's actual paranormal stuff. I don't know what would be more terrifying though. So I'm pretty sure that's the room with the tub. Okay, so the only place we can go is through this door then. where they are. I wonder if we should watch them. Let's see what's in this room. Of course we can go inside. It's locked. Dang it. Okay. So let's go downstairs. Alright, peanut gallery. You know what? I got an idea for you too. What?
Let's go downstairs. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have. No. A no, not a good oh, idea. Wow, you have a spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? I won't those mess with those. Joke, man. Who do shit? No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and. Well. Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. I'm gonna go down the basement. You up for a ride along? Cool, we're with Josh. Yay. Gives me the creeps. Yes, we already, I think we already pretty much looked at that. When we were playing as the other guy, Chris. All right, let's just get this over and done. Let's go down the basement. Oh, at least we're not going to be alone. Hey, you notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. Oh. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hold on, Josh. I want to do some quick searching. That's upstairs. Hey Josh, why don't we go through this door instead? You know, Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say. Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all going to make it through this. Together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Oh, yep, I definitely have a feeling we're all going to be in here for a good time. Why do they have? Why do they have this in their basement? I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. How many creepy places do you need in one house? Where did he go? Where did he go so fast, huh? I ain't buying your crap. Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Yeah, thanks. Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Yeah, can I grab this bat and hold it? playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my 
sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Anyway, I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Here, can you, can you hold this? What was that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. You're welcome. Been practicing. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mmm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Okay. Sure. Oh, 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 I think I know what I did. I'm holding on to the, the ferny thing for too long. Oh. That's more like it. Do you see All that right. movement? Five, girl. Mm. Yeah. Do you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? regular about it. I'm not, I'm not letting him, dude, no, go first. I'm not letting you out of here. Ah! Holy crap. 
crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this, Putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank. Which was dumb. Holy crap, you were <laughs> scared, admit it. I was not! Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. <laughs> mm -hmm. Please tell me you're gonna take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? I think Chris is my favorite guy. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schema. Okay. No, well, here he is again. I'd like to understand your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. Do you share this fear? Yeah. Um, isolation and loneliness. No, I don't. Then how do you feel about people who are afraid? I just, I don't, I feel sympathy. I think, well, Mike has a fear of isolation. Do you feel pity for him? Mike. Um, Mike is the one that's hanging out with Jessica right now. Um, yeah, I do. Well, this is not reflected in the way you are playing your game now, is it? What? And now, let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person, loyalty or honesty? I mean, I value both. Honesty can be hurtful, but I'd always rather be people be honest. But you can be honest. Well, hold on. Can a loyal person be honest? Can an honest person be loyal? I don't think an honest person always needs to be loyal. But a loyal person always has to be honest. Let me think about this real quick. Let me think about that real quick. A loyal person, can they always be honest to you if they're loyal? I guess not always. They don't always have to be honest They can to be loyal. But an honest person doesn't always have to be loyal to you. So I would say maybe loyalty. So you would tell a lie in order to be loyal to a friend? Okay. And what about oh, loyalty okay. versus charity? Loyalty versus charity. Um, I would say loyalty. <laughs> so you would sooner look after your friends before caring for those in greater need? Oh. I don't know. No, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. I feel like either which way I chose, he would have made it sound bad. If I chose charity, be like, so you will help, so you'll ditch your friends.
to help a random person. And that's where we're going to end it for now. The episodes just keep getting better and better and better. And their buildup is so good. I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop. Oh, what happened to Jessica? Are they actually going to play with the Ouija board? Which, I'm, which is what I'm assuming they grabbed. What's going to happen when they do that? Who the heck is this person that keeps following them around, especially in the mine shaft? Who is the face that they saw in the telescope? I have so many questions. This game is amazing. I am loving this so much. Oh, thank you guys for getting me to play this game and I'm so happy it's spooky season. So this is just the perfect time to be playing this. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and thank you for liking the video and make sure to do both and turn on the notification bell if you wanna see more Until Dawn content. Thank you guys endlessly so much for the support on this channel. I really hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. Make sure to check out the links down below in the description as well. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next episode of Until Dawn. Woo! I can't wait. Bye.